Greetings and salutations. If you are new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I am a personal trainer, a motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, is I perform feats of strength like bending steel bars, breaking chains, driving nails through wooden boards, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, etc., etc. Other feats of strength like that <clears throat> as part of a live show. And being a modern day performing strongman and knowing that there's not a ton of us around per performing and stuff like that, I know that people are gonna have questions for me. Um, and it also provide, I also know that I've got a unique perspective when it comes to strength and physical culture and all things like that. I keep checking the door because there was just an ambulance outside and I'm also expecting one of my training clients to come in any moment. So if I seem a little bit distracted, I wanted to squeeze this in real quick before, uh, before getting back to work. So I started a Q&A series where I would answer people's questions. It helps me get searched by the algorithm and it gives me content to upload. And uh, so if you have questions or comments or anything like that, drop it in the comments below. If it's not something that I have already answered, I will get back to you with your own customized video just for you. Pretty cool, right? So this question comes from Manaswaran Devar who has commented several times on my channel before. So I wanna thank you for your support, Manaswaran. So he says, Eric, I study short training sessions always work for natural bodybuilders or strength athletes where V stay away from cortisol, the stress hormone that stops our own growth hormone. But old timers before steroid era seemed to train like two hours or more than that. Personally, I see more results in short training sessions just want to know what's your take on this, on the workout length, et cetera, or workout length, exclamation, exclamation point. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome, Manaswar and Devar, and I want to thank you again for your support and for asking these questions because it gives me content to upload. So when the, the concept of having to have short workouts, I originally read about in one of Jason Ferrugia's books. Ferrugia, Ferrugia, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, and he was recommending nothing longer than 30 to 45 minutes because of that whole cortisol thing. I've also known that Scott Sennon has recommended uh, workout lengths between 14 to 18 minutes because of the whole uh, neuroendocrine response. <clears throat> um, what, now, this answer, like many things, is it depends. You know, like, I don't recall seeing anything scientific on it. And even if there was there, you, you have, would have to look at what's actually involved with the study. Because like many things, the answer is it depends. So one of the things is like you had mentioned some of the old time strongmen. I know that Paul Anderson is reputed to have like, like an hour or so in between, uh, in between his sets. And the, the guy was c capable of freakishly strong things. He was, um, I, I don't remember the numbers off the top of his head, but if you get anywhere, like even half his numbers, you can consider yourself pretty damn strong. <clears throat> Arthur Saxon, I think, trained like two hours or so at a, at a clip. For me personally, I've done short training sessions and I've done long training sessions and I got, I got results from both of them. Um, I didn't do it in a scientific way format so that I could limit the variables so I couldn't say which one is necessarily better. Now in a previous video where someone was asking me about workout length, um, I had mentioned that I do short training sessions and I'll do these twice a day. That's not necessarily because the results themselves get better. That's because I'm very busy. You know, I've got a personal training business that already eats up a lot of my time, like 11 hours at a clip that I'm here. Um, in between that, I've also got my motivational speaking and performing strongman business to promote. And I'm also a father of two young children and I cherish every minute that I, that I can with them because I know that these days are fleeting. Um, so one of the things is like when it comes to the workout length is I designed my workouts to be able to pr provide a result within that short time frame. That I, that I was hoping to be able to achieve with a long time frame. Now, when you have things within a short time frame, you have to limit the amount of things that you're gonna be doing because there's only so much 
volume and density and stuff like that that you're going to be able to fit into a training session. If I had all the live long day to be able to perform my workouts and I didn't have anything else going on, I might opt for longer rest periods, um, more stuff. And But the, the answer is, like many things, it depends. It depends on your workout. It depends where you are in your training age. It depends on your body's re ability to recover from the workouts. The workouts themselves um, shouldn't be training you harder than you can recover from. So I hope that answers your questions. If not, drop another comment in the comments below and um, I'll, I'll follow up with another video. If anybody else has questions or comments or anything like that, drop it in the comments below. But in the meantime, please stay happy, stay healthy, stay, please stay strong, everybody. Eric Moss, over and out.